give us a history about Riot, how it came about and your mining facilities and your vision and so on and so forth. Yeah, so Riot um, started in 2017. Bitcoin mining was the focus of Riot kind of right off the bat, but it was involved in a bunch of other things. It had you know, investments in different areas in the space, uh, was looking to launch an exchange, etc. And over time, we decided we wanted to narrow in on specifically Bitcoin and specifically Bitcoin mining. Mm-hmm. We're, you know, all united in our in our, our shared vision on the long term value proposition of Bitcoin, how dramatic and disruptive of an effect we see Bitcoin having, and we wanted to, you know, get exposed to that as much as possible. And because we had been mining from our inception, we decided we were going to you know, cut off everything else that, were, that was going on within the company and focus on building out our mining operations as uh, rapidly as possible. So Riot, uh, starting in early 2018, had a Bitcoin mining facility in Oklahoma City that was about 12 megawatts, which sounds really small now, but back then seemed pretty big. <laughs> So it just goes to show you how much the industry uh, kind of evolves. So we were operating there. And then in mid-2020, we decided we wanted to make a shift to lower our cost of production and give us the ability to expand while we were out there looking for some crown jewel infrastructure to acquire and own. We believe, you know, along with most of the rest of the industry, that vertical integration is the future. This is the way all, you know, successful miners tend to be trending. And we wanted to take further control of our own destiny while we we went out. And um, so we went out trying to find infrastructure to build or acquire. And um, so while we were doing that, we were deploying miners at uh, a hosting facility called CoinMint in upstate New York. They have low cost power, um, ideal operating temperatures, and... Um, it was an improved cost of production for us over Oklahoma City and a, a huge ability to expand. So that, le- that allowed us to start entering into massive purchase agreements with Bitmain, ordering thousands, tens of thousands of the latest generation S19s. And we could get those deployed at CoinMint while we were kind of working on the next step of the company. And that's where Winston came in. We acquired Winston and we closed that transaction in May of 2020. Uh, once, so just this year. Winstone has been absolutely transformative to the company. And I knew it would be that the very first day we met the Winstone team. The very first day I walked in there and I met Chad and I met Lyle and Ashton and David and the rest of the whole Winstone family they have there. I knew these people are aligned with our values and they, these people want to build and grow as quickly and aggressively as we do. So it was an immediate kind of personality match between our two teams. And uh, I think on top of that, all the infrastructure and capacity they have there was just a benefit. They had built out 300 megawatts uh, but at the time that we had acquired them. And that site has the ability to expand to 750 megawatts. So quite a bit bigger than 12 megawatts. Um, I'm uh, pretty confident 300 megawatts makes Windstone the largest Bitcoin mining facility in North America. The rest of the world, kind of hard to know. I think with mining leaving China, uh, definitely <laughs> moved Winstone up on the worldwide ladder. I yeah. don't know for sure, but I think we're certainly positioned well with the expansion we initiated right after the acquisition of Winstone. We initiated a 400 megawatt ex- expansion to take that up to 700 megawatts, and 200 megawatts of that is immersion cooling. So. Uh, very aggressively building out capacity. Capacity is in very short supply. I think that's something that a lot of other miners are struggling with. It's an advantage we have. And uh, we're really excited about the future we're building out there at Winstone. Yeah, I see the photos and I'm just blown away. <laughs> it's, I see them on Twitter following you guys. And it's like, wow, these massive facilities. And it looks like a few football fields of uh, just buildings. Um and it's just amazing to see that happening in the United States. 